Hey everybody, my name is Mohit and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 21 of solving SQL challenges playlist. And in this video, we are going to discuss a very interesting OVA interview question. So without wasting any further time, let us jump on understanding the problem statement and implementing same using SQL query. So as per this problem statement, we have to find the total number of workers who are currently inside this workstation. So for 21st of April 2025, this is the information given about each worker, about their action and their log time. Okay. So using this data, what we found is worker ID 102 and 103 are currently in the workstation. So I'll tell you how this scenario fit in our real life. So in few cases, there are some rules where uh, there should be minimum worker inside the station in order to handle some kind of emergency situation. So let's say if we need that info, how many workers are currently inside the workstation, we can just use this uh, log table and uh, we can directly identify how many workers are currently inside the station now. Okay. So to understand how we got this output and uh, what approach we can follow in order to implement this logic using SQL query. Let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio. Okay. So as per interview question, you need to create a DTL and DML script for the given data. And then you need to implement this logic as per the requirement. Okay. So I have already created this table and uh, I'll share this uh, DTL and DML script in the description. You can directly use it from there. Okay. So I already have table created. Let me select this table. So table name is shift log where we have three columns worker ID. What are the action performed by each worker? And this third column will log the time for each action. Okay. Now to understand how we got this output, what I will do. Let me first arrange this table in ascending order of log time for each worker. Let me execute it. Okay. Now let us understand how we got the output 102 and 103 for this particular example. So if you observe this worker ID 101, he came inside this workstation and then went out. So in the end, this worker is outside this workstation. Similarly for 102, he came inside, but he did not go outside. He seems to be very serious and sincere, right? So we can say this worker is still inside this workstation. For 103, this worker came inside, then went out, then came inside. So ultimately we can say that this particular worker is inside workstation. Now for 104, we have only one log for this worker and action is out. So he is outside this workstation. Now if we check for 105, he came inside, went outside, then again came in, then went out. So finally he is outside this workstation. So what we observed here from this data is 102 and 103 are still inside workstation. So let's say the manager of that workstation asks you how many workers are still inside this workstation in order to handle any kind of emergency situation. Then for this particular data, we can say that there are still two worker 102 and 103. Okay. So this particular logic we need to implement using SQL query. So see, there could be multiple ways, but let me discuss my approach how we are going to implement this logic. So currently we have total five workers, right? For each worker, what I will do, I will calculate two extra field. In first field, I will calculate what is the latest time for any kind of action performed by each worker. Okay. And in second field, what I will do, I will try to find the latest time for each worker when they came inside. Okay. So in first case, I am calculating the latest time overall for each worker. And in second field, I am calculating the latest time when each worker came inside this workstation. So if these two timings are same, we can confidently say that yes, this particular worker is currently inside this workstation. So I hope you must have got some idea 
how we are going to implement this logic. So let me first calculate the maximum time or latest time of each worker for any kind of action. So what I will do, let me copy this part and uh, I will put column worker ID and uh, I need maximum of time column. On what basis? I just want to group by worker ID. That's it, right? So if I calculate this, I will get latest time for any kind of action performed by each worker. So let me name this column as max time. Similarly, what I will do, I discussed about the second fill, right? And in second fill, I will calculate the max or latest time for each worker when they came inside the workstation. Okay. So what we can do, we can just put the same query with extra filter condition where action equals in right so i'll write where action equals in and then group by worker id now if i run this one we will get these list of worker and their latest time so let me name this column as maximum in time okay so for this worker the latest time when he came inside this workstation is this one. Similarly for worker ID 102, 103 and 105. So if you remember, we had like five different workers. So 104 is missing. Why? Because 104 has only one log that two for out action. So if you cross check this, observe this row. This is the only entry for 104 that two out action. So anyhow, we are not interested for this worker. Okay. So these two time, if I run simultaneously, then what I will check for each worker, if this max time equals to maximum in time, then we can confidently say that this particular worker is currently inside this workstation, right? And then we can list out all the worker ID and same we can give it in output. Okay. So let us implement this logic. So I need to club these two command or query in order to calculate that logic. So I'll take help of CT and uh, I'll name this CT table as worker underscore max time as then this is my first CT table and again this is going to be another CT table. So I'll name this CT table as worker underscore maximum in time as this is the another CT table. Okay, now we will calculate this logic. So what I will do, I will write select, let us select everything for now. Select star from, this is my first CT table, from this table and alias name as empty, empty miss max time. And then what I will do, we need to join these two tables. So second table is MIT maximum in time on worker ID. Both table has worker ID as a column. So we can perform join on this column. And uh, how we have to get those worker? We will check wherever this first table max time is equal to second table max in time. When these two times are same, we can directly say that particular worker is currently inside workstation, right? So what I need in output, I need worker ID. And then for now, let me put these two column as well. Although we don't need, we just need worker ID. Okay. Now if we run this, I hope we should get required workers who are currently inside workstation. Okay. So let me comment this line and let me run this. Great. See, we got the exact detail or exact worker ID who are currently inside workstation. So how we got this? Because for this worker ID 102, overall maximum time for any kind of action performed by this worker was equal to the maximum or latest time when he came inside this workstation. Same goes for this worker ID maximum time and maximum in time are same. Okay. 
So I hope now you must have got a very clear picture what is exactly happening. So as per the requirement, we just need only first column, which is worker ID. So let me execute it. And this is the expected output. Okay. So same thing we have implemented and this is the output what we got for this given data. Okay. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in our next video with uh, interesting real time interview question. So please stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified whenever I put a video. Okay then, let's catch up in the next video. Till then, take care and goodbye.